I work for the Philadelphia Gas Works, and our, we have a plant right there on the waterfront. It's, it's the main, one of the main sources of gas for the city, so if it flooded out all of there, they, they would have to move that whole plant somewhere else. And then all the other industry that's down there, you have the water department, you have an electric department substation, sanitation, water. Have you ever thought about like where your house is, how close it is to the river? No, actually, I never had that thought in my mind. You know? But now that you just informed me, you know, my, my, uh, my eyes were on the Flyers game, you know? And then you just come out here and I was like, yeah, whatever with that. The line possibility, I, I see it could happen. I just see it. I see what happened just by new development and uh, and roads, new roads up up the area. When they when they take out all the trees, what's one what's one uh, maple tree uh, every time it rains? I think it would to consume like 40 gallons of water, something something somewhere around there. So if you got you know 800 trees and there's nothing there, they cut them down. Then they put blacktop down, goes right in. So it doesn't have to be sea level, could anything. Big storm up north, and now uh, we get all the way from Bradford County, New York, straight down. I grew up two blocks from where we're standing right now. It's a great neighborhood, and I would not like to see it underwater. So let's do something to prevent that, okay? <laughs>